Hello everyone, today I would like to share you my top gel practice. The first one here, if you take a closer look at the home screen here, you will be able to see the clock and the date. And that tweak is called home time. It will add the clock time and the date to your home screen. If you want to completely hide the application from the apps feature, you can do that. So you can use the tweak here and you can select the application to hide from the apps feature. I'm gonna go to camera application. And when I open camera application and then I can go to multitasking and you don't see the application because we have just hide it and you can do for all application if you want this one is a very good tweak for the photo application so when you go to the photo and you scroll and you will be able to see the little tag here which show that when the photo is taken and when I scroll across the photo, it will change the timeline and I see. So this photo was taken in July. And when I scroll to this one, it go to August. So it is very useful for you when you want to see when the photo is taken. And you can customize the color for the tag here also. You can go to settings. And you can choose the bar color or you can choose the tag color and even the tag color and you can apply the settings and close the photo application and then you will see and then you will be able to see the the tag is changed and like you see here if you feel that the home button is very slow and when you open or close the application and it is very slow you can use the tweak here which is accelerate the home button speed and you can speed up the home button and like when I open and close the application and you see the home button is much, is much quicker and faster than before and it closed the application immediately and you can install the tweak from the CD here it is called accelerate home button if you want to see how many tabs in Safari do you have, you can use the tweak which is indicate how many tabs in Safari you have. And we have six tabs here. And like you see, you see a little number at the bottom here which show you how many tabs you have. And the tweak is very useful for you when you, when you don't want to use the physical button. And mostly when I use like the lock screen button, and when I use it often and it always broke and it doesn't work so this tweak is very good for you you just face down and the phone is locked and like you see you can face down and the phone is locked and it is pretty convenient for you for someone who broke their lock button this is a very cool tweak so which allows you to customize the 3d type menu on your iPhone so when you force type and you can customize all of this so you can go to settings and go to the tweak here and you can customize you can reuse blur you can make the 3d type much faster or you can reverse the item order and you can hide the separator or you can disable animation or you can use the square menu and so let's see so respring and now 3D type menu has been changed as we customized before. If you want to take a screenshot on your iPhone much faster, you can use the tweak. So you can use your three finger to swipe from the from the top to the bottom. You can swipe down from the from the top here, and it will take a screenshot and like you see, and it is much quicker and faster than before. I hope you find this tweak useful and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.